upstairs by now. Oh my god. Alrighty guys, before we get into the highlights, I do want to talk about the gun real quick and just kind of give you guys the tips and the ins and outs of this gun while I was using it uh, and just kind of just give you some feedback and help you guys use this gun in a more efficient way. Okay, so we obviously know this thing is a shredder. The firing rate is ridiculous and it's just so much fun to use. But it is at such a disadvantage because the moment you miss your shots, you're already down like half a mag. And it could be a little problemsome with the type of ammo carrier you're rocking. Now on the bright side, this gun doesn't really need attachments. It is a little pricey, but you can use those points for other things other than attachments. Now the only two attachments I found myself constantly using was extended mag and a red dot sight. Now the extended mag is two points for an extra five shots. Personally, I think it's worth it because of the firing rate and how much ammo you're spewing those five shots could really help and then a dot sight was really nice to have you don't need one because the iron sights are actually pretty decent on the vector but the okp chef's kiss it looked beautiful i loved it it was just the perfect optic for this gun and it was really nice to have this gun as an advisor class uh, because i can use whatever um, attachment i want on it definitely don't use the recoil grip on this gun that thing is completely useless it's a waste of three points don't ever throw that thing on this gun but you can't get away with using the compensator it does mitigate the horizontal recoil and this can really help you full auto at a much larger range like if you're medium range you can definitely full auto and get away with it with the compensator uh, but the thing is when you're using an attachment like the compensator it's kind of counterproductive not only is it expensive but you're using it in scenarios that it shouldn't be used with the gun now onto the suppressor this gun definitely has a unique sound it kind of sounds like so if you're trying to hit a sneaky flank, even newer players can differentiate the sound between other guns, and you're definitely at a disadvantage. The thing is, it's very pricey to have the suppressor, uh, so it kind of just depends on whatever scenario you're trying to rock it with. We also know how weird the recoil control is on this thing because it shoots downwards and not upwards with the recoil, so it's completely backwards. And that kind of tricks you when it comes to medium range. Not so much close range, at close range you can kind of get away with not having to worry about recoil control, but at medium range you definitely have to aim high above the character's head. And then I also learned that using controlled bursts really work with this gun. Not just medium engagements, but close distance as well. You kind of have to use controlled bursts there's no way you can really full auto and expect to hit your target i mean you're shooting so much ammo but you also have to conserve ammo at the same time at your target so bursting was just super accurate um and it was probably one of my favorite things to do it kind of felt really satisfying whenever you burst it and all you got to do is just kind of you know mess with it in the gun range and you'll realize that it shoots pretty straight if you know how to time your burst properly and I'm not talking about the two shot burst uh, mode, no, I'm talking about full auto and then just making sure you have trigger discipline to burst it enough and you can kind of feel a sweet spot. Also at range with this thing, like I said, if you're ever forced in those medium or even long range engagements, you have to aim pretty high, not just for the recoil, but because the bullet drop on this thing is pretty exaggerated as well. It feels kind of like an AS Val uh, bullet drop, so it's, it's pretty bad. And just in case you didn't know, if there's a lot of bullet drop off, that usually means there's not a lot of velocity in the bullet. So it can be a pretty slow bullet when it comes to range. And I did have to guide my shots when it came to medium range combat. Not to mention the damage drop off at range is insane on this thing. Like it gets pretty weak at range and it makes sense. It's pretty balanced in my opinion. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but you can actually see it in my gameplay where I actually call out shots. Like I'll call out kills and they didn't end up dying just because with literally any any other gun in the game it would have killed them but because it's such a fast firing rate I believe it's like three or four shots to kill a guy at like medium range so it can get pretty bad at times and um, yeah you definitely see at least two different scenarios in this highlight video where I thought I killed the guy and he just didn't die so I think we all know you know this gun is meant for CQB it's not meant for medium range but hopefully these tips help you out because I know you guys will run into some medium range combat with this gun uh, not to mention um, this 
needs to be used in a slow down paced. Uh, like this isn't a type of gun where you can kind of go hit the flank and go be a madman because like I said, the moment you miss your shots, you're fucked. Uh, if you need to hit multiple targets, you're fucked. But in a 1v1 scenario, um, this gun thrives. Like if it was a one life game mode such as Ambush or Firefight, this gun is really going to show that it's the boss, that it is one of the best CQB guns on the battlefield, especially when it comes to one life game modes. But if you're trying to streak with this gun, you're trying to hit the flank with this gun on a, on a game mode like Push or Frontlines, there's multiple targets you have to take out within a, a set amount of time. Um, like I said, the moment you miss your shots, uh, you're donezos. Like I had to use a pistol um, to help streak with this because there is a lot of times where I run out of ammo and there's still an enemy in front of me. And you know, that pistol saved my life way more than I thought. And it was actually worth having a Tariq pistol, a Tariq pistol. Like it wasn't even a good pistol. I was forced to use the Tariq pistol and that thing still came in handy just because how much I was running out of ammo. So it just really shows. Last thing I like to point out is that if you have terrible aim, zigzagging with this gun is just chef's kiss. Like if there's a target in front of you and you just spray one whole mag at him, um, you're most likely going to kill him because you're just spewing so much ammo. As long as it's in the general direction, you'll most likely get a kill because there's some like slow down guns like the AKM that if you kind of zigzag, you actually will miss a lot of your shots and might not get the kill. But with this gun that goes out the window, like you're screwed. It's just a spray of bullets coming at you. So to wrap up my opinion on this gun, this gun is gone tier and thrives in the perfect scenario of one life CQB combat. So we're talking about ambush or firefight on maps like gap or tell. It's perfect and nothing else beats it. Now normal CQB combat on game modes such as front lines or push, you could be constantly finding yourself running out of ammo and that's just a huge problem at the end of the day for trying to streak with this gun. I will say though, whenever an enemy likes to tie in up on hallways or corners, if you just bring out this gun real quick, it tears a hole through their defense but it just isn't the best for using for an entire match sometimes not to mention this gun is on advisor class and it's competing with some really good guns that cover a large range of scenarios besides all that i hope you guys learned a thing or two and hopefully you have some fun rocking this gun i'll see you guys on the battlefield deuces Damn it. Mm. You guys watching that right? No, no they're pouring through. I just saw three of them On go the through right. That, that right. On tents. Got one of them. Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Just a sec, reloading. No, 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 no. Oh, we're sweating it now, boys. You can go back to our Oh, we're sweating. So they don't back up.
chat hitting the flank on me. He's on top. Oh, he's on, he's, he's, on, he's on our floor, on our floor, on our floor. Oh no, he hit me from both sides. Okay. The next best thing. Gibby, Gibby. Hi. Are you the real Gibbs? Gibby. No. Thinking about Get up ahead. Get moving, I've low. never known the name of Gibbs. Here we go. Literally, last game, looked it up. Well, did you sub? <laughs> Fucking bandwagoner. How can I be a bandwagoner if I admit it not knowing who it was? Bandwagoner. I got it. I'm reloading. What is Gibbs? Where are you going? Come back, you heavy! That's Gibbs. Like parkour on this like tiny ass little platform. <laughs> no, I I hopped off of it. No. Did I get a double? No, I did not. Ow. Damn it. I just cleared this whole fucking objective. And I got off of it. Fuck. Oh, there was a guy. I. That, I Got him. Say it's zero waves. Did I really wipe them out? Oh, I did. Oh shit! I, I denied them. The guy just crossed the street on our left, right here, next to spawn. He's around C. Hold 
on. God, that was okay. I'm on Delta. <laughs> Fuck a prick. Yo, hey, hey, I'm loving up. Oh, my God, that was crazy. Delta secured. I'm just gonna hold this. I'm up. All clear. Thank God, I have this rapid fire gun. saw the other guy and then this guy came out of know oh my god what a streak Damn it, too bad. I got shot. Alright, they're on their way back. Kick ass, you guys. Station out. Uh oh, Tommy boy, you dead? Well. Shit, I would have ran out of ammo. Shit, there's a guy right here. No, oh, damn, there's so many in there. What the fuck? Fuck. Got him. We're losing Charlie. <laughs> All right, can I make it off that that truck, that truck bed? That's in. No, that was barely off.
Baba no. Baba no. <laughs>